Hey guys, Shufflemer here. So today I want to talk a little bit about Unity Player. Um, hopefully most of you would have gotten used to it by now. I know it's easy and tempting to always go back to Flash Player, but Flash will be uh, phased out soon anyway, so may as well get used to Unity. Um, I've got used to Unity and I prefer it now over Flash Players. It's still got a couple of bugs here and there, um, but there's a lot of features that will make everything a lot easier. Um, first little thing, not very important, but I find it helpful is, um, especially if you've got a lot of your clan members on your planet, and you see someone else coming into your planet, but you kind of miss them, and then you're trying to find them. In Flash, this is just about everything you can get onto one screen, so to actually find a base that's being attacked by someone else is fairly hard to do. You kind of got to scroll up and down in, in a zigzag motion to actually try to find them. Um, in Unity now you can zoom out a lot more, so as you can see you can cover a lot more bases, so it's a lot quicker to zoom around and actually find who's being attacked. Um, next thing would be maybe the Q, W, E and R keys. Um, Q for example works here for the slot number 1, which in this case is Escort, W is slot number 2, E is slot number 3, R is slot number 4. Um, in combat you can now set your fleet to do something on auto and you can also tell it to get into formation before the combat starts. Now I'll demonstrate just on a low level cargo fleet because it's easiest. If you would have seen in my previous videos I always attack someone from the right or left so you get a lot more screen to work with and it's easier to see what you're doing. Now I'm going to put them in formation, the time is still going but I can already tell them to get into formation. This button here is your auto, as you can see I turned it off, now I turn it on, then you've got to confirm it. What they will do is they finish the last order, they go where I told them to go and then once they've done that then they will go into auto. So now in a second you'll see them going into auto. There we go, they're pretty much all in auto now. The benefit of this is, um, especially for um, Apox, they seem to circle around enemies. Um, they make a nice circle where if you're trying to do that in manual, you won't get as nice of a circle. You can only tell them, as you know, to go straight forward and then once they get to a certain point, a little bit forward, you can tell them to go somewhere else, but you can't do a really nice circle. Um, you might be able to do it with one ship, sort of, but definitely not with four, five or six ships even. Um, so this will be really helpful. Um, I can't stress enough how good it is to actually be able to, right at the start of the combat, to tell your ships where to go. You can actually make some complicated formations before the battle even starts, which is just absolutely incredible. I mean, before you could make them all into groups before it starts, but now you can group them and tell them where to go, which is really, really, really helpful. Um, another thing is... Now with those little controls down here at the bottom, with QWER, um, say you kill a level 50 Vega for example, just say for example it was, find something near my base, just make it easy here, where the sun is, whatever. Proceeding. Say there's a cargo floating there, now you only have to right click once on it to obviously collect it, so you can use the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 to actually selectively tell it to go there, so you know my fleet number 1 is there now, so now I click number 2. Online. Um, tell it to go there, number 3, number 4, oops, number 5, number 6, number 7, whatever. And then afterwards you can do the same, press number 1 and then press the R button, the, uh, sorry the E button that will tell it to return 2E, 3E, 4E, 5E, 6E, 7 uh, And as you can see it's really quick that way to actually record fleets. I'm still getting used to it a little bit myself so occasionally I stuff up but um, as you can see everything is just a lot faster. Um, one other little control would be in combat you can now just press the A button to select all ships. Um, before as I covered in a previous tutorial you can keep the space bar pressed or um, I think it's something different for the RTS control but um, you could, all the old functions still work but now there's some new functions um, included so I can not stress highly enough how um, great these new features will be. Um, I think I've pretty much covered it all now. Um, I hope this video was a little bit helpful to some of you, and have a good one, and I'll catch you later.